Hi there Aries, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of September. There's a wonderful opportunity this week to firm up on the things that are really important in a practical context. This is because the Sun is forging a terrific link with Saturn. Now of course Saturn has a much maligned image if you like when it comes to astrology, the planet which is very much to do with restriction, blockages and delays but it also encourages us to be more self-disciplined. So if you can really dial in your attention to the detail of things, you may find that you can start to feel quite satisfied how one particular plan is shaping up. Yet you do have to overcome the full moon of Monday. And this could see you being a little bit worrisome about some issues you can't control. And therefore it does take a certain amount of self-discipline to keep our minds focused on what we can actually affect. If you can do this, progress is definitely possible. But I do feel that when it comes to relationships of a professional kind, however much you feel that you're being diplomatic to one particular person, you may not be able to absolutely rely that they're taking how you're being in the way it's meant. And there is the potential for some cattiness or for someone to raise a point about how you're performing, but not necessarily to you. So do be conscious of the politics. And even if someone seems extremely pleasant to your face, behind your back, well, it could be a different matter. And this is because of a tricky opposition between Venus and Neptune that runs on from last week. Now, in a personal context, if you're in a live-in relationship and one of you always seems to get caught up in the domestic chores more than the other partner. Maybe this is a week where you need to sit down and try to find a, share, a fairer share of the responsibilities. Because if you can, that's going to be something that will really liberate you. And talking of liberation, there is a fantastic development for you which occurs on Sunday towards the end of this week. When Mars, your ruling planet, moves into your sister fire sign of Sagittarius. Now, it's going to be bursting through this part of your scope for just under 60 days. And this gives you an opportunity to be much more outgoing, much more daring, much more risk-taking than perhaps you felt you've been able to be in the last 55 days or so, when there's been quite a lot of heavy commitments to plow through. And anything to do with joint finances or business may have been something that hasn't necessarily been that easy to deal with. But once you see Mars move into this new area, its natural encouragement is to travel more, to experiment more, to be a bit more individual, and if need, may, need be, also spend time being rather more independent and focusing on your own interests and activities. Because if you go off and do things, this can recharge you, rejuvenate you. So when you come back on the everyday stuff, you have that much more sharpness for it. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.